but we're starting to like climb the ladder so it's going to be kind of hard we're going to start hitting players that are originally like the 1800 and 1900 players that just aren't there yet and we see porygon 2 porygon z team i was talking about using this and i'm thinking about using a team like this with my lotic instead of feeny for uh regionals huh. is it possible to arrange a battle off stream yeah i can i do that stuff all the time all right let's look at this correctly I'm going to be using uh, Butterfree and Raichu here. He doesn't have any fake out support, so if I go Raichu Butterfree, I can just straight up Volt Switch into the uh, Porygon slot and Z Sleep Powder it, and I'll just keep it completely honest. Um, actually, the Mana Buzz is a bit of a problem too, but I don't think that Mana Buzz will cause me too many problems. Uh, I think Incineroar is actually amazing here. We're going to use Incineroar. And then Lele, Ninetales, or Garchomp. Man, they're all so good. I think I'm going to go with the Lele. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Lele, because he can go Porygon Z, Amanda Buzz too, and I don't really want to deal with that. Yep, this is the correct one for me. I have to bring Lele, duh, because I'm going to be resetting his terrain. <laughs> Oops. I still make jokes of naming Tapu Fini Starbuck because it looks like a coffee barista. I do not think that at all, but I see what you mean. So what actually caused the huge increase of Fini lately? Uh... Everyone just knows that it's good. Feeny's really good. It topped like a bunch of regionals, and it's pretty decent. So Butterfree Raichu, let's see if he leads Porygon. So Mandibus Feeny. So uh, I can still totally see how this is the play here. I'm not scared of this at all. Um, I could fake out that Mandibus if I wanted, and just hard switch out my Raichu. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that because I can't. I can't put any of these Pokemon to sleep. And he's most likely going to be protecting. You know what we will do then? He's probably going to be protect... Uh... Yeah, actually, we'll just do this. We'll keep him completely honest here. We're going to switch out to Lele. And we're just going to fake out the Mandibuzz. I think that's the play. And note that I can fake out this Mandibuzz. He is flying. I don't have to blow my fling just yet. And if his uh, Tapu Fini protects, even though I don't think he's going to, I think he's just going to pop like the biggest specs Dazzling Gleam in the world. Let's see what he goes for. Psychic Surge is going to activate. Yeah, no protect from Fini. But we're keeping the Trick Room, sorry, we're keeping the Tailwind slot honest here. Uh, we have to assume that the Pokemon he has in the back are Metagross. Metagross is going to be a pain in the butt. Alright, we're going to nuke that Mandibuzz. No, we're not. We're not going to nuke it. I mean, I kind of want to. I think I'm going to actually nuke the Feeny and fling. Maybe not nuke, but like, Raichu's already lived its usefulness, I guess. We're going to keep the Mana Buzz honest. We're going to fling it. We're going to go down to a Dazzling Beam, but we're going to chunk that Feeny for like half. And then we're going to come in with the real heavy hitters and win from there. Yep, that's about how much I wanted to do. We get a special D-drop. It doesn't really matter. Fling is going to keep Mana Buzz honest. No Tailwind for you just yet. I'll get to you eventually, Mana Buzz. Hopefully. And do us for a D-Gleam. Oh man, almost almost killed my Lele, but I knew it wouldn't. Alright, how the heck do I deal with this Mana Buzz now? Alright, Incineroar. I can come in and fake out the Incineroar. <laughs> Dude, I'm just like going around and around we go. Just like fake out, fake out, fling, you know. I'm doing my best. Alright, how's it going, Adam? Alright. He already has a Pokemon up on me, but I still think I'm in a pretty decent spot. I said decent, it's not great, because next turn he's gonna, like, destroy my body. I'm thinking about just, like, eating this Feeny Dazzling Gleam. I, my plan is, I'm gonna KO the Feeny, right? Oh, he's withdrawing it. Feeny is so strong. It's This is a Specs Feeny, guys. This is totally Specs. Yeah, there's his Metagross, just like I said. He really wants that Tailwind. Like, he really, really wants it. And I'm like, nah, dude. Not in my house. I can kill that Metagross next turn, but I really think that Metagross is going to protect. That's a crit. Yeah, we take those. The thing that sucks is here, I can't really kill the Mandibuzz unless I crit, I think. We're going to try and Flare Blitz it. I think his Metagross is going to protect. I really do. Hmm. Yeah, I think he got me. 
I think I'm going to lose. I think I have to one-shot his Mandibuzz with this Flare Blitz right now, which is possible. But I don't see a way that I really do. Oh, he's for a Foul Play, no Tailwind. Is he trying to nuke my Incineroar right here? Is he a god? He is! Dude, that's game probably. I'll probably die to this. I'm not a fan of Specs Fini either. Oh man, I'm so alive! And I got my Blaze Boost! This is Blaze Boosted, Flare Blitz. Oh my gosh, this is so juicy! Oh, <laughs> look at that damage! Oh my gosh, that's so good. I can't win, but like, it's so good, guys. It's so good. Yeah, because he's going to just send his Feeny out here, and I can't sleep out or anything. Oh, well. Yeah, he's probably just going to bullet punch my, uh... Let me send up Porygon. Is there any way I get through this? He's going to switch out his Porygon for Feeny and bullet punch. So if I had, like, you know, Sleep Powder, or not Sleep Powder, if I had, like, Rage Powder, I'd be pretty good. I mean, this is the only play I can really do, is go for the Sleep Powder onto the uh, Metagross slot. I, I'm assuming that Porygon is uh, Scarfed, and I gotta hope it's not Timid, I gotta hope I win a Speed Tie. And if he lets me put his Metagross to sleep and I get to keep my Lele alive, I'll win. But I don't think that's gonna happen. You'd have to misplay really hard for that to even happen. You'd have to not be switching into Speed Knee, you'd have to lose a Speed Tie, and... I don't think he's that bad. I've already lost this game. All he has to do is not be terrible. He's he's terrible so far. He's showing me. He's showing me that he's terrible. Oh my gosh. Unless that's Lumberry Metagross, I think I'm going to win because he didn't switch his Feeny in. <laughs> I mean, we take these. Why didn't he just switch his Feeny in? Alright. Z Sleep Powder, are you Lumberried? Guy that has a Feeny in his team. Nope. Alright. Just in time for Feeny. Feeny's spexed, right? It's totally spexed. Maybe the Metagross... Yeah, he should have just switched the Feeny in on either of those slots and been fine. Because, like, if he switched in Feeny in the Metagross slot, his Porygon wouldn't have died to the Psychic. He totally got the misplay there. And I don't think his Feeny can protect, because I'm pretty sure it's Scarfed. So we got to get the Feeny off the board. I can still lose. Um, if he just gets like a one-turn sleep, I'll obviously lose. Z Sleep Powder's pretty good, guys. It's not good like right now. But... We'll see. We gotta, we gotta nuke the Feeny slot. I might not even KO it with Psychic Bug Buzz. Because Bug Buzz ain't doing shit. But like, I have to do it. I have to keep it honest. Yeah, see, I doubled up in that slot. Oh, you, you like that? You like that correct? Uh, it's Protect, Z Sleep Powder, Tailwind, and Bug Buzz. And let's see if the, if the Metagross wakes up, I'm going to lose. But don't wake up. Because I can't put him to sleep right now. <laughs> Alright, cool. No, he's, his, his Metagross already attacked. Alright, Bug Buzz. Bug Buzz actually will do decent damage to Metagross, unless it's, like, Vested. And even if it is, uh, which I do think it is... He's asleep. He's going for those bullet puncherinos, and if I had Rage Powder, I would just... This game would be over. Dude, look at that damage. Look at this damage. Dude, Butterfree is putting in so... That's a crit! That's a crit! Oh, shit. That doesn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, he will wake up this turn and bullet punch my uh, Lele. Yep, wake up. Bullet punch. Who are you hitting, though? He hits my Butterfree! No, leave Butterfree alone, man! Ugh. Can we KO? Can we KO? I said one! I win, I win. There's, he can't hit both of my guys here, so I win. We. I cannot believe that I won this game. Man. Sucks to be this guy. Quick Claw Explosion! What can he do? Quick claw. Hey, you, you lost. This game's over. He goes for the BP. He takes out the Lele. That's right. He loses to the Butterfree. Butterfree getting in there hot. What move set is Butterfree? It is Protect, Z Sleep Powder, uh, Tailwind, and Bug Buzz. And we take those. Money in the bank. Should not have won this game. I do not know how he threw that hard. 
but we take those. I can't believe I beat like Mandibuzz guy with my Butterfree. Like I led Mutter, I led Butterfree, and he led Feeny Mandibuzz. I can't Sleep Powder Mandibuzz because it has Overcoat, and I can't Sleep Powder a Feeny because there's a Feeny on the board, and I still managed to win. And Butterfree was like the reason I won. That's ridiculous. Butterfree boys. Alright, we're 1577. We're almost at 16. Just like three more games, I think. Maybe two. Alright, what's the best soundtrack? We used to listen to Team Skull this time. Alright, 1514 Japanese guy. You can't ever, like, sleep on the Japanese people because they could be broken. And this this is the type of team I hate to fight the most. Pheromosa teams with, like, Oricorio. Because you can quiver dance with the Pheromosa. Which means I just got to pop things in the face. Like, that's the, the way I'm going to win this one. I'm going to lead Lele. I think I'm going to lead, like, Lele in Cinderwar. And I'm just going to try to, like, pop him in the face. Hmm, actually... Not Lele. Because he doesn't even have a fake-out user. I'm going to lead in Cinderwar Ninetales. That means I can fake-out. I like that better. I will bring the Lele. But I don't I don't like fighting these type of teams at all. Because he can also, like, Tailwind me. Is Garchomp good here? It's decent. Garchomp's decent, but I think that's probably a Scarf Lele. I could Butterfree him, but I don't want to risk it. I'll bring the Garchomp, because Garchomp can switch in on his Garchomp, and it could switch in on the Aerodactyl. But I think I'm going to lose this one, because this is a gimmick team. He has to be. There is some gimmick going on in his team, and we're trying to play somewhat standard up against it. Watch it be a Lele birdie. Like, what is the, what is, how does Lele combo with the bird? Is that a thing? Yeah, I think it's going to be Pheromosa and the bird. Yeah, there's Pheromosa and the bird. Pretty sure that's the electric bird, right? So we see Incineroar Ninetales. I can fake out either of these guys. I think you got to keep the uh, you got to keep the Pheromosa slot honest. So you got to fake out the Pheromosa. But you can switch in as Lele. But this is still the correct play. Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now he's totally, but this will this will let him get the protect off. No, I'll I'll play correctly this turn, and then next turn I'll get him. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, I thought he would lead with the the lele and the switching on the on the FD. Yeah, that seems actually super good. Isn't this like El Glozo's team for the most part? Alright, Okorio used his protect, so I, I kept him completely honest, and I fake out the... Yeah, this is the correct way to do it. This is the correct way to do it. Look how much damage! <laughs> yeah, we take these. I kept him honest, because I was like, man, I kind of want to just nuke the bird, but I want to make sure that he doesn't just think he can go for the quiver dance protect. And that's the right play. Yeah, I think this is one of Aglosa's patron teams. I'm pretty sure it is. Or a variant of it, because I know he was working with this. And there's the Lele. And I can Encore that bird, I think. I don't know its speed tearing, though. What's what's the bird's speed tearing? Anybody know? Can I encore it? How fast is the bird? 93. The answer is yes. Appreciate it. It's a little faster than Croc. So Lele is scarfed. Scarf Lele. I'm gonna clock that. Oh, it doesn't even clock my sash. But let's see how much he likes that juicy flare blitz slamming him in the face. He gets a double protect, too. That's actually really good for us, because that means it's going to fail. I love Incineroar, man. It's it's everything I've ever wanted, because those of you guys that know my play know that I was a huge fan of Offensive Arcanine two seasons and three seasons ago in 2015, and I think it, mostly 2015 uh, and 2013. I was a huge fan of, like, Flare Blitz, like, huge big damage Arcanine, and Incineroar is so much better than Offensive Arcanine, and you guys, you guys can take that to the bank, like... It hits so hard, 
has fake out. It has literally, oh my gosh. And this Garchomp can't be Scarfed because he already showed me Scarf Lele, which means the damage is getting done here. This game's over. Match was forfeit. Get that clean four stock. And like he has dark typing too, which means he's great against Marowak. He's great against uh, certain Trick Room users. Uh, he's Darkest Layer is such a cool move. All of his animations are amazing. He's incredibly bulky with 100 base uh, HP. Yeah, that game was hella real.